Hi everyone, it's Richard, and I'm back for another video. And it's time for the second installment of my introducing series, where I introduce you to a band or an artist that I think you really need to know about. And I'm really excited for this one today. Um, I love this band. They're one of my favorite bands. Um, they are a local band where I live, um, in, from Pittsburgh. And, but, they travel all around, and you can listen to their album on Spotify, and you can go to their website to check them out. So, I'm really excited to introduce you to Buffalo Rose. They are kind of a folk, bluegrassy Americana band. Now, folk and bluegrass is not my favorite kind of music. I'm not really a big fan. Um, I do like, like Cat Stevens, Crosby, Stills and Nash, Joni Mitchell, Joan Baez, the old stuff, but I'm not really like that into folk music. But, this band is incredible. The first time I heard them, they absolutely knocked me out. And this album is amazing. Every single song on this album is brilliant. Every single song, in my opinion, is a 10 out of 10. There is not one song on this album that I would consider a bad song or a lower song. Everything is remarkable. Um, now, before I get into it, in full disclosure... I am very good. These people in this band are some of my best friends. But as I said in my first uh, introducing video, where I introduced you to Feral Cat, and I said the leader of Feral Cat, Roger Romero, was a good friend of mine. And I said that didn't have anything to do with it. That I liked his music. That has nothing to do with this. Um, the people from Buffalo Rose did not ask me to make the video. They didn't want me to make the video. And if I didn't like their music, I wouldn't make the video. But this album is brilliant. Um, it If you don't like folk or bluegrass music, and you don't think you'll like it, please, I recommend you give it a chance. It's it's remarkable. Um, it I don't even know where to begin with this. Um, a little over a year ago... Um, I went to this band's album. Oh, um, I forgot to mention, this is their first full-length album. There's 12 songs on it. And they also have an EP out with, like, four songs. And they're currently working on their second album. And it will be out sometime next year, I believe. Um, but a little over a year ago, I went to their um, album release party. Because I'm friends with the band. And I've never, and I'd never heard them before. So I didn't know what to expect. I knew they were kind of like a folk bluegrassy band. I didn't really know what to expect. And from the moment they came out and the first song started to the last song, I was hooked. They played this whole album in its entirety. And the performance was absolutely brilliant. Um, there's so many different instruments in this band which I'm going to get to in a minute, and I'm going to tell you about the members of the band and the album. There's so much different, there's so much different, um, you, like, instruments in this band and unusual instruments that you wouldn't hear every day, and it's, it just, it just works. It's brilliant. Um, let me go through some of the songs on here. I love all the songs on this album. I wish I could talk about every one, but that would take a long time. So I'm just going to pick out a few that you have to listen to and that will get you hooked. Um, the first song on this album, God Willing, is, is, I mean, it's brilliant. You will have this song stuck in your head for weeks when you hear it. I still randomly... Hear it in my head sometimes, and I just start singing it, and it gets stuck in my head. And every time I go to see this band, I always tease my friend, um, one of the singers in the band, you better be doing my song tonight, you better be doing my song tonight, and they do it for me. Um, but, God willing, the chorus is the chorus is so catchy. The music and the lyrics are so catchy 
It's brilliant. You will you will have it stuck in your head for days. The second song, Poison Oak. The lyrics are so brilliant and so passionate. I don't know how they come up with lyrics like this. The um, my friend Lucy Clavy sings that one, and her vocals are are brilliant. They're passionate. Like I said, the lyrics are brilliant. Um, the song Buffalo Rose, which is their name, um, it's brilliant. The lyrics are passionate. The harmony in the song is just gives me chills. Um, well, the other ones, I know they're, um, so if I had to pick like a couple of songs from this album that I like I had to have, like I couldn't live without, those would be the three. Um Now the name of this album is The Soil and the Seed. I forgot to say that at the beginning of the uh video. It's the Soil and the Seed. You can check them out at Spotify on Spotify, their website buffalorosemusic.com. And they have several videos on YouTube. Um, and they are from Pittsburgh, but they travel all around. And if they come to a city near you, I seriously recommend that you check them out. They are a brilliant, they are brilliant performers. They put on a hell of a show. And as good as this album is, you have to hear them live. They're brilliant. Um... Yeah, so if they come to a scene there, you check them out. Um, now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the people in the band. Um, on vocals and harmonica, you have my friend Lucy Clavy. Now, it's really hard for me to compare her voice to anybody because her voice is so unique and so beautiful. Um, I can't really, there's not really anybody that I can think of to compare it to. It's so unique. Um, but her performance, if I had to pick somebody to compare her as a performer to, I would say like a Janis Joplin. She's a brilliant performer. Um, she's really engaged. She um, interacts with the audience. She um, like moves around and she's always dressed so cool. Um, I always tell her she reminds me of Janis Joplin, and, um, I think she takes that as a huge compliment because Janis Joplin is one of her big influences. Um, Marquia Reed, now she's not currently in the band, but, um, she was in the band for a while when she's on this album. She, um, does vocals, and she's absolutely brilliant too. Um, I want to make sure I mention her. Her singing and her harmony on this album is, um, great. Um, Shane McLaughlin. Where do I get started with Shane? Um, Shane is another one that his voice is so unique. Um, he can, bring, he can sing pretty much a, 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 anything. Just like Lucy, I forgot to mention that with Lucy. Lucy can, Lucy can do so many different styles of music. She can do the Janis Joplin. She can do, like, the folk, uh, more folky bluegrass. She does Lady Gaga. I mean, she can do so many different styles of music. And Shane McLaughlin um, can do so much different stuff. He can do the Beatles. He can do Michael Jackson. He can do the folky bluegrass stuff. He can do more, like, harder rock with, like, more of the screamy stuff in it. Um, so he is great um and Lucy and Shane's harmony um is so is so beautiful and so brilliant um I would compare them to like a Crosby Stills and Nash um my mother actually thinks thinks they're as good as Crosby Stills and Nash um young Crosby Stills and Nash um and Crosby Stills and Nash is one of her favorite bands um Okay, and then you have 
And then you have Malcolm English on the Durbro Concertina. I hope I said that right. Durbro Concertina. And Bryce Rabideau on the mandolin. Um, yeah. So, you have to check this band out. Buffalo Rose, The Soil and the Seed. It's brilliant. Um, you won't regret it. And if they come to, uh, if they come to a city near you, you should definitely check them out. Um, you can check them out on Spotify, at their website, buffalorosemusic.com, and YouTube. Please check out Buffalo Rose, The Soil and the Seed. And until next time, the love you make is equal to the love you take.